ready. Cool. Get your seatbelts yeah. on. <laughs> so look, I have, I have a list. We can either pick one and then just go off, or actually, I wanted to cover. That. <laughs> I wanted to cover that because. All right, what up, y'all? Uh, random chats with awesome cats. Uh, we got the boy Anthony Lee. What up? And of course, it was truly. But um. What up? Yeah, I I don't know. This is the first first episode, uh, official episode. This is your virgin episode. My virgin episode. I'm popping your episode chair. <laughs> and who better to do so than you? Um, creepy eyes. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I actually wanted to get down to this first subject before any other subjects. Um, and it is the subject of zombie epidemic. Yes. Hit me, zombies. Zombies. So, you know my friend is Lawrence Cow from Walking Dead, right? <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Oh, how many, how many messages did he get talking about um, people thinking that was him? The real question is how many lines did he have? <laughs> Did he have lines? Maybe like one. Oh shoot. Maybe that's why plural doesn't work. But it was his death was super ill. Word. Yeah. It's so cool to see your friend like just die on screen. <laughs> He's mad. Did you see him in CSI though? This is such a Lawrence Cow plug. And I am Lawrence Cow. There it is, Twitter plug. <laughs> <laughs> it's his handle though. Yeah, no, I I haven't seen him in CSI. So. Yeah, with LL Cool J. What? <laughs> man, what? funny dude. Picks him up, he's like a little Asian thug. Oh man. It's cool. It's close to your friend dies slash get grabbed by LL Cool J. He's lucky man. Ladies love Cool James. That's nobody, what it stood for, huh? Yeah, nobody can get away with that kind of stuff out here. LL Cool Anthony. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> cool. Cool A. Cool Ed. Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Hello, Kool Aid. Dude, someone should just call it. Yeah, just Kool Aid. But ladies, that's like your AKA. Your A Kool Aid. <laughs> I don't know. I I could be Cool J because still sounds. Yeah, like that kind of works. Cool J. Ladies love Cool John Ha. Lady love a Cool John Ha. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll take it. That's more pro. L L a Cool J. L L Cool J. L L Hawaiian barbecue Cool J. <laughs> Baba Kuche. I tried to say L and L. Yeah. <laughs> L and L. So yeah, I, we, we already stopped talking about zombies. I know, uh, what a horrible tangent. Yeah. Alright, so back to the subject of zombies. You're like, episode <laughs> one sucks. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not gonna watch any of the other episodes. Alright, zombies. Hit me. Uh, it's more of a zombie epidemic. Like, what would you do if, uh, yeah, you're, the world went into zombie mode? And, like, what would be your fail safe plan if you have one. I've heard that people always say like, oh man, I'm just, I'm just dying. I can't survive in that. Like, Word. I would definitely try to survive. I feel like with all the TV shows and prepping us for one anyway, it's right? probably going to happen. Not trying to be all like pessimistic, but I feel like, okay, they make video games out of it so you can learn to embrace uh -huh. the fact that it could be fun. Yeah. Being a zombie fun. <laughs> epidemic. You know what I mean? If you have to face it, then you have to face it. You know what True. I mean? True. Um, so, uh, I feel like Game plan number one is to arm yourself. Okay, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Right away. Uh, we'll you can think self-defense, but really survival. survival. The idea is. is survival. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why you need to arm yourself, the reason why survival is important, is because even if you want to give up, maybe your friends and family do. There it is, man. You know what I'm so yeah. you have to arm yourself, so you got to go get your friends and family back. That's what's, that's what's up. Truth, man. End of story. Like, first thing I got to go arm myself, I got to go find my family. Once my family is safe and care, I ain't leaving them. I'm just going to try to connect with all my friends and, and we'll all gather again, try to make our little community. And then from there, try to see how we can survive. That would be the most ideal. practical thing, I think, to do, right? True. Yes. Um, but you got to arm yourself. Well, what, what would be your, your weapon of choice? Because many people have always... Well, like, see, that's the thing, though. Like, zombies, like, what are they really dying? See, you got the zombies that can only be uh, in nighttime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, the I Am Legend zombies and oh, stuff like that, those, right? Those are actually vampires. Have you read the book, I Am Legend? I did not read it. I don't do that. He's like, he's like Van Helsing. Right? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, they're vampires. Okay. There's, so that, that, there's some zombies that in order to kill them, you gotta like behead them, right? 
Oh yeah, you gotta or, smash their brains in. Yeah, like, so. it's it's so something about the core dome yes. about them is what keeps them going. So that's what you gotta end. So in that, if that's the case, uh, I'm kind of a pacifist. I haven't really ever like fired a gun like at a person with intent before, <laughs> or even really animals. Okay. But right. targets, targets, I can do. So I, I guess if you look at at zombies as like targets like a video game hey then then yeah you know and you try to stock them on some guns uh, but that's uh, again it's all relative it's only because everybody else is carrying guns you, know? true, you don't want to be the guy bringing a knife to a gunfight yeah. you don't know who's got the guns or who cares about what you know at this point there's also like non-zombies like regular human beings yep. they're just like yep. straight dicks though you know what i mean just straight up using the situation for the betterment or whatever and we don't even know what kind of, all right so just for the sake of conversation i'm just going to specific specific specify specify what kind of zombies you guys will be like going against these are the, realistically um there was a, a doctor that said you know zombies if they were actually true and you know, out and about, they would not be able to run. Their only cognitive thing would probably be to like slowly move around. Like I feel like that would be so fun. Like they can't run. It's right. So easy, right? Well, I mean, like it's definitely video game worthy. Cause Day Z, those mother freaking zombies were. They were climbing and doing all sorts of. You've seen Day Z, right? No, I haven't. Nah, why am I saying Day Z? World War Z. Oh, I was like, sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah. Day Z. Day Z. Who's Day Z? That's a game. <laughs> Day Z duck. <laughs> World War Z, yeah, those those things were running and jumping at you and using their bodies to like, yeah. boom, like just go Crash. crazy. Yeah, so not those ones. I think those ones are a little bit um, impractical. They're they're not real. <laughs> that was the World War Z one, right? That was actually pretty creepy, even if you're not cut up. Those ones, you know what I'm talking about? I'm all doing it driving. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's all like, <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're just uh, walkers. They're walkers. Wouldn't it be badass for everybody to have like, a character like Alias? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even in life, whether you're like, I don't know, the, you know, like high school characters, you know, the varsity jock, you know, the hot chill. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Nerd Everyone whatever. you would go to but, for that specific But just like in a different category of like entitlement, where like in the zombie world, it's not about like you know, the jock and the, and the nerd and the whatever. It's like this person's like the, the, the slayer. Or this person's like Nightwing. You have to have a certain skill set to be considered like the Slayer. The Slayer. Like like this person walks to a room, their aura is so commanding that you're like, Shh, the zombie Slayer. <laughs> Can you imagine having like aliases and stuff? Like, People so around Ill. the world to hear about you. Don't even. So ill. <laughs> yeah, that'd be tight. I I try to make a name for myself. Heck yeah, dude. What in like zombie kills? Yeah, yeah, like just make a reputation. Or like, I'm gonna have to be like, you know, like Him. defender of, of humankind, kind of. The shield. You know, the shield. Yo. Shoot. I'd look for you. Shield, <laughs> dude. Nick, All right. Nick Fury. Because the thing that I was like, curious about, like, how would you, how would you survive, though? Like, yeah, you would, you would get all these weapons, but what would you do? Were you like, <laughs> Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Shield. Keep going. Listen. All right. All right. <laughs> my ears on my eye. <laughs> You're missing eye. Um, Cyclops. <laughs> this. You continue. Yeah. How how would you? What would be like your ideal form of housing? Like, what, where would what would be? I mean, we got your weapons now, and you try to get guns. There's there's definitely a lot of different approaches. Uh, one of those approaches would be uh, to be in like a very rural area. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Secluded, fenced off. You know, like a giant prison. open area, like prison or a barn house, right? Something that's got a lot of open space around it. But I feel like, I don't know, that, a part of that makes me feel like that's a little scary. True. Because, you know, you're by yourself, you're very alone, and, and no matter what, if anybody, random zombie or human, walks or gets close to your spot, they're gonna be attracted to it. Whereas if you're in like, you know, a neighborhood, like a very suburban area, Think of your Pleasantville, your Irvines, your, you know, something like that. It just has nothing but stacks of houses that look all the same, just in lines. You know what I mean? Like, my bad. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I see exactly what you're trying to talk about, but I, I feel like that would be just prime 
where a lot of them would be. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, it's a video game, right? You're trying to make a name for yourself, right? <laughs> oh, we're not trying to make names for ourselves? Oh, so this is like the practical, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking okay, practical, so we're not though. trying to... Okay, we're not trying to make names for ourselves. <laughs> well... Shoot, I mean... I feel like it would be time to go to an island, like a little ass island. <laughs> Alright guys, time to go, we're gonna go to Catalina. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can get to an island, then yeah, there might still be zombies there. But, once you kill enough zombies, there ain't no more. <laughs> then you just trade a zombie free, right? True. Yeah, so I'm not saying like, let's go swim to the island, but do, I mean, if zombies walk, do they, do they walk under the water? Do they That's swim? a Caribbean, dude. The walking they really zombies, slow. Those they are like, well, the undead. Different, yeah, like a different category of undead. <laughs> no, but they weren't though, they came. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They like recalled back from the from the dead. Yeah. They just died. Yeah. Alright. But here's here's my take. Can zombies swim? Like, I think swim. they can though. Have well not, not seen... swim, sorry, not swim, but they can they can just not die underwater because apparently you stab them in the chest, they still live. Yeah, but you think so that you think that if you're across the way on an island, they're gonna smell your ass at the island. And I think, think like let me walk like miles underwater. You know, you just get a little boat, just get to the island. I was playing this game, Left for Dead, not Left for Dead, um, Last of Us, and then basically these uh, zombies or diseased uh, uh, people were only using their their hearing because you know, your sight diminishes, you know, like all your senses diminish. And uh, after that, the only thing that they had was like their their hearing, and they would make this noise like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of echo off like dolphins or bats, uh -huh. and uh, that's how they would find you. Then, then wouldn't you just mess with that? Wouldn't you just be blasting music all the time? Imagine that. They Yo. Hearing, and then you just put some like badass R.L. grime on their ass or something. You know, it goes in like some just heavy trap or dubstep. Like Zed's dead. Yo. <laughs> Zed's dead on a zombie. Will they just like get even crazier? You think they start running? It's the worst idea ever. What if their heads just explode? What if you kill zombies with dubstep? I'd find Skrillex. Is Skrillex even a dubstep DJ? Or is he a zombie? Uh, you're right. No, I don't want to say Skrillex. Well, here's 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 my I, my take on zombie survival. And I was telling all my friends, you know, you should probably stick with me because I've always, since I was a kid, since Resident Evil days, you know, like I've always thought of like, how would I survive a zombie? Uh, there's definitely me. questions you should ask yourself on a daily. Tell me this isn't a good idea. One thing you should do to arm yourself so you can go out grocery shopping or whatever on a daily, even day or night, doesn't matter, would be to hit up like a medieval shop and put chainmail and armor on. That'd be hella what hot right now. Right? I'll say that. It would be super hot, but you wouldn't fear anything. Like, if you had that armor on, you know, basically a shield around your whole body and chainmail just on the inside, like, no zombie, which was previously a human, can bite through that. That's impossible. They can't scratch through it, they can't do anything. You just show them out of your way. Or if you had a big sword with you, even easier, you know what I mean? I feel like that would be the the prime thing to do, like on a daily. Word, word. Not, not too many chain, chain mail retailers in uh, not, not, California. Not many, not many. Well, I mean, I'll yeah, try to word. Google it before internet goes out. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I mean like for the house though, uh, before, <laughs> before the, the whole Walking Dead incident, you know, the show came up oh prison uh, and then, like farming and you know, agriculture and all that stuff like, oh, that's, that's actually a better idea than what I had but previously I had to fortify a house was to go into a rural area like suburbs get a house build a moat like around it line it up with like fire like something that can catch fire at least uh, because spikes or water just, like, we wouldn't know if that would stop zombies right so spikes in the water but even then like the water would I, I, I wouldn't know. I don't know. If it's a moat, if it's a moat, you can't get across, right? Unless they jump in the water and swim across. Jump in or something with spikes. Like that. What about spikes with fire? Because fire can dissolve or like, you know, incinerate. Where are you getting all these spikes? What if there was just a moat of spikes? Not even water, just spikes everywhere. What do they get through? But then they're going to pile up, right? They're going to pile up. Oh, they pile up and then they walk over each other? Yeah, that's what, yeah. They, that's what I was thinking. Like, you got you to gotta be careful of that. Okay, so you look at fire. 
grabbing sources from everywhere but in um what is it the left for dead game they had that that that, that canister or whatever of wood of smell yeah the green gas or something that they would throw and it would attract zombies so i assume they threw it out and it zombies. Zombies. do you think there are any like super hot zombies you know what i mean like yeah yeah you'd, like, have, you'd have like to catch them super hot chick that just like turns zombie but then when she like turns on she was still like super hot or are all the faces always going to distort and just have to be like a specific i think way? yeah because how you how you are when you're just like picture you're like really captivated by a movie like your jaw drops your eyes kind of slouch and they do lose control of your muscles in your face yeah so well, when, I'm, when i'm into a movie i'm like <laughs> such a good movie uh, yeah so i mean i don't think anyone can like, but but like like more like that like really it's only in America but that like male prison complex you know what I mean where it's like put a bunch of dudes stuck in a prison and somebody like the bitch dude looks like a you know somebody that everybody wants to just get at you know, they, right that's just a stereotype so I've heard <laughs> imagine that imagine you're just stuck in this world with nothing but zombies you ever start looking at chick zombies and thinking to yourself like you know what? Why not? <laughs> Why what not? If, Can what you if, contract zombie diseases? What if you 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 breathe with all the zombie chicks to like you know dilute the zombie bloodline, or are they just gonna be born as zombies? Imagine that. Imagine that. You making the name for yourself as Zombie Slayer. There's another dude on the other side, maybe me or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> That's just like just the guy who's breeding out the zombies. A breeder. Breeder. Zombie breeder. And the only downside of that is that at the end of the apocalypse, everyone is my blood. That's, that's Mr. Uh, Genghis Khan right there. Right? Genghis Khan. Yeah. That's you, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, I mean, I guess that's... I guess that wraps up how we would deal with the zombie apocalypse. Oh! Yeah, the deadly wrong. question. If family and friends turn into zombies and like kill them. What would you do, man? I don't know, dude. There's uh, there's no answer to that until you see him, until you look him in the face. It's, it would be ignorant to, to say one thing. Yeah, yeah. It's it, yeah, hypocritical. So. Yeah. I mean, being in there and just like, yo, mom. Now, honestly, mom. I feel like if I could figure out how to contain and control them, I'd bust one of those. Shaun of the Dead, just chain them up and put a video game in front of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Teach them how to play games. Just like, chill out. At least giving it time to think whether or not there is going to be some sort of solution. You gotta, have, you gotta have hope. Okay. You gotta think that there's going to be some sort of solution. Otherwise, if there was no hope, what, what would be the purpose? I don't, I don't think you can, you can reverse that though. I mean, well, you never, you never know. But the fact of the matter is, maybe there's. You gotta hope. All right. I'll stick with you on that one. Um, what if I was a zombie? So it's a little bit more realistic. I'm right next to you. Like right I'm, now? Yeah. Like, well, then you probably want to kill me, so I'd have to like try and kill you. Like that would be like an in the moment experience. I, I, I you know agree. What I'm saying? That has nothing to do. Like I'm, I'm in my seatbelt in your car. Like you're driving. There's like very limited possibilities <laughs> for my survival. There's a knife in here, just letting you know. So you probably want to get that immediately. 
that happen. Dang, look at that shit over there. <laughs> Just like that. Can't open it. It's locked. Oh shit. It's locked. Dude, zombies all trying to help me kill him. He's like, yo, <laughs> yo, it's locked, bro. Pull it out real quick. Pull it out. Okay, let's go back to the front. No, 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 that is the button, though. That is the yeah, button. Yeah, push that lever down. Push right. this lever down. Oh, God! And oh, to put that back down, just hold this guy right here. No, no. Whatever, don't touch it. <laughs> Full of hood in over here. Mm, that's what I did there. Hey, shameless plugs. Yeah, all oh, tight. That's good to know. Good to know our zombie fail safe plan. Yeah, I got weapons though. Word. Word. I would. Man, I'd be a bowman. Yeah, oh, that'd be mad tight, yeah. yeah. But bone the only arrow. thing is, like, if you don't know how to shoot a bow now, you will miss. Oh, dude, I, I kill bow now, man. I'm, I'm amazing at that. Really? Yeah, man. Have you ever fired one? Yeah, man, for sure. All right, good. <laughs> I've only fired one in Russia. I've definitely fired bow and arrows. Dang. With pinpoint accuracy? Can I say that? Apple off the head kind of deal? No, if I was trying to shoot an apple off the head, I'd either miss or shoot the head. I'd be good enough to probably shoot, like, the head, though. If you had, like, a big-ass head. Good, I'm glad we have a bunch of hair on those zombies out there. So, uh, damn, okay. I think that'll, that'll about wrap it up for us about in, uh, the zombie, zombie talk. Wanna pick another subject? Yeah. Let's talk about superpowers. Superpowers! What was always your superpower? Um, well, my favorite is Flash, so super speed. My thing. Alright. I love that. Because you can, at any given time, you know, not go as fast, still make a great living. People wouldn't even know you're a superhero. You know what I mean? you go Definitely. You bolt, have, you seen, have you seen the X Men Days of Future Past? Oh, yeah, of course. That's Quicksilver. Is that what you're talking about? Is that hero? Uh, the dude who goes, who runs really fast? Yeah, yeah, Quicksilver. That's Quicksilver? Yeah, that's Quicksilver, yeah. Quicksilver like Fantastic Four Quicksilver? Yeah, no, no, what? What are you talking about? Fantastic Four? No, no, that's Silver Surfer. Oh, Silver Surfer, what am I thinking? Quicksilver like the surf prank? Yeah. Quicksilver, yeah. yeah. The guy who, the guy was all messing around with everybody's faces. Yeah. yeah. Apple was clearly the most badass mutant. Yeah, yeah. In indeed. the entire film. Yeah. Flash is so fast there. Do you watch Flash TV show thing? No, I do not. I, Flash is my favorite superhero. I feel like if if I were to watch it, kind of, you know, I would be very judgmental. I don't want to, I want to do that. Uh, all right. Yeah, stick, true, stick true to it. Just kind of read the comments. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. So you'd have like super fast speed. Yeah, I would have super fast speed. Imagine how quickly you could build a house. Oh yeah, yeah. Flash has done that many, many times. <laughs> like people's houses got destroyed, and you're just all. He just read up, fast reading too. Everything cognitive and everything is fast, so he read up on how to do it. But no one created their house, like, so quick. He moves so fast that um, uh, he can vibrate and move through matter. So he can go through walls and shit. Go through walls? Yeah. I think I'm infatuated with the idea of time. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, yeah. Imagine if your power in general, though, was to control time. That would be yours. That would be your superpower. Control time. That's the worst. You age regularly, though, right? I don't know, man. You can control time. You could probably control, but you control time. That's the thing. But does, does time affect you? Like, you go 100 years, would you be dust by then? Would you be a corpse? Like, so. you say cartoon. Yeah, you probably age, age according to normal time. In a lifetime, I guess. <laughs> but then you can go into the future and you can get futuristic surgery or medicine. <laughs> so what, what's going on? Yes, that's in the... You gotta sit down with a paper and pen and see what just, you're... I feel like the most consistent thing that I'm always telling myself in the day mm -hmm. is, man, I wish there were two of me. I uh, wish I had more yep, time. I, I wish I could do that, that and that. Well, we see what super speed you mean. <laughs> you just need some really good shoes. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright, so controlling time. But, 
there's this game, I forgot who, who started. I think it was Brian. But, uh, look at that bike. Whoa. Awkward. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was Brian that started this game. It was like, you think of a superpower, but then you think of like a negative effect that happens, you know, with the superpower. Say like, um, I forgot what the examples were, but it was something like, yeah, you get a super, uh, super fast speed, but only when you're crying. Right? <laughs> oh, so you have to like think of the weakness. Yeah, the weakness behind the superpower. Yeah, so something like that where you have super strength, but you have to be completely naked when you take the power or use the power. Dude, if I had super strength, being butt naked wouldn't matter to me. <laughs> but super strength isn't invincibility. Now you have to understand that. So people can still hurt you, but you're just super strong. Yeah, but if you're butt naked. Horrible. And super strong. <laughs> like, I don't know if make fun of this guy or <laughs> But he's super strong. He's so strong, he just did that house, why, bro. It's like why don't you do that with your clothes on, man? Like, Dude, so I gotta put clothes on, my strength goes away. That's why I stay naked. Just naked. There's also the superpower <laughs> that uh you can uh you can see through anyone's clothes. <laughs> Only when you have a heart on. <laughs> Yeah, girls, you can see the lingerie. Guys, for some reason, you have to see everything. So every day, you're just walking around seeing a bunch of dicks. <laughs> that is horrible. Or you could teleport, but every single time you do, you lose an inch of height. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. No. <laughs> Freaking midget, dude. <laughs> you gotta stop teleporting. <laughs> I'm addicted. Damn, man, an inch? That's a lot. <laughs> I'm not even that tall, man. I don't have a lot to teleport to. I got a, yeah, I got a total of three teleportations in my <laughs> lifetime right Before now. Before I look really awkward. Oh, man. You only rack my ring when you, like, jack yourself off and then you don't bust. <laughs> so, like, when you're, like, in blue balls. When you have blue balls is when you have powers. You just soar while you have it. That's the worst, man. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can only fly when you're naked and have the you know, like shriveled dick. <laughs> and you can only fly ten feet high. <laughs> Maximum. Would you still fly? <laughs> Let me see. Max, what about this? <laughs> Running into trees and shit. <laughs> naked with a shriveled dick. <laughs> Can't get away from media. That's horrible. The flying naked man with a shovel dick <laughs> made another appearance in the South Pasadena today. You can fly, but you can only fly maximum of 10 feet and you can only fly maximum of 10 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my god. People keep on trying to take you down. You're like, damn, this power sucks. <laughs> what about every time you flew, you had to pee really bad. <laughs> you have to pee? Yeah, you have to pee. Really you just gotta bad. feel like you need to go when you're yeah. flying. Yeah, that sucks. So you can only fly for a limited amount of time. <laughs> and then when you stop flying, you're good. Like it settles down. <laughs> you don't get the joy of peeing. You just get that urge. You remember that dude next man that do with the Asian dude with the spikes? What? The porcupine guy? Yeah. He was not interesting at all. Like Worst like mutant power ever. Be just ugly. Just sh sh <laughs> You can only kill people when you hug them. <laughs> That's a superpower. That's a superpower. Alright, alright, I didn't mean anything I said. Let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. Come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. I know, I know, I'm, I'm on the evil side. <laughs> what would be your, your, your name? Huggles. <laughs> Blowfish. H Huggleberry Finn. Huggleberry, finish him. <laughs> oh, this guy's going to be dead. <laughs> Huggleberry, finish him. That's the best villain name. <laughs> <laughs> Venom, Apocalypse, Huggleberry, finish him. <laughs> we said two syllables, Huggleberry. We said two. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, come here. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing we we're talking about. <laughs> Thing. So stupid. Like, you can't fly unless you learn to eat guns and choreography. <laughs> Alrighty, to wrap up uh, the first episode of <laughs> Random Thoughts, let's uh, just uh, brush up on how everything is going in uh, Anthony's world. How's, uh, how's the dance? Is there anything coming up that we should know about? Start summer touring, so Orlando, Merced, Sweden, Czech, Germany, Slovenia, Poland, New York. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon, China, Korea, maybe Japan. Yo. It's all going down. Uh, me and Mike will be going across the country in a road trip from New York to LA, so if there's any spot or city along the way that we can see or hit people up, we will. Um, other than that, man, this has been a big, an amazing year for me. Uh, so I've been like just feeling mad fortunate to uh, to be experiencing the things I'm experiencing and that really just comes down to people being into what I'm into so uh, for everybody who's into it including yourself man yes sir dude I just thank life for you guys thank you life. yeah yeah well shit it was a uh, honor having you and thank you for uh, being a part of this so as always follow him on all social media fronts they'll be in this realm somewhere around here yeah and uh stay tuned subscribe see you on the flip side <laughs>